it was one of the most popular bets on the board at multiple sports books. Yes, we're talking about the Baltimore Ravens money line odds to beat the Detroit Lions, straight up. The Ravens money line, they were around minus 400 favorites, was included in more parlays than any other NFL offering at points bet. For every money line bet on the underdog Lions at Bet Rivers Sportsbooks, there were 22 on Baltimore. By the time the game kicked off, 98% of the dollars bet on the money line was on the Ravens. All of those bets were on the line when the longest field goal in NFL history hit the crossbar and Karam through as time expired. Justin Tucker's 66-yard field goal capped an odds-defying last-minute drive by the Ravens in a 19-17 victory that resurrected the hopes of bettors who had laid the hefty money line price on Baltimore and thought their bets were cooked. Justin Tucker is the better's best friend, Jay Croucher, head O. Tucker's kick was the afternoon's defining moment for the results, saving everyone's money line parlays. Overall, with the Ravens not covering the seven. Point spread, most sports books made out all right on the game, but some bookmakers did take a hit. Baltimore's two-point win, instead of losing outright to the Lions, caused a mid-six-figure swing against the house at Bet Rivers, according to sportsbook COO Matthias Stetz. Tom Gable, sportsbook director at the Borgata in Atlantic City, New Jersey, said the Ravens were a popular selection on teasers, a form of parlay that allows bettors to adjust the spread, normally by six points. The Ravens were one of the most popular teaser selections of the week, and you could take. None of it seemed possible with the Ravens down 17 to 16 and facing a fourth and 19 from their own 16 yard line with 30 seconds to play. At that point, according to ESPN stats and information, Baltimore had a 0.1% chance of winning.